yeah, this first first thing I want to do is move those feet around and and try to get those horses to take a hold of me instead of anything else. Like, I don't know, there, there'll be a lot of them that that aren't even halter broke that will have the first ride on them before you can lead them. It, you know, it's just a I don't know. It's more of a flow, I guess. Sure. You know, getting in their in their head instead of all that other stuff. All right, she's gonna buck and play, and she's gonna run around here for a few minutes. You know, just as soon as I step off and away, you know, I want them thinking of me. We don't think of me. We're looking her head in the corner. I'm gonna keep those feet moving until I'm the. I don't want her turning until. Until she kind of checks up here. I'm just gonna let her take a breath and chill out for a second. There. Step around the horse. And they they need to wait until. Because what I'm trying to teach her is to move away from the pressure and not step into it. So if I step here, this horse is naturally going to go that way. But if I'm right here, I'm like a roadblock. You know, I don't want her to just swing around and go. I want her to check up and then move. Look for direction. Look for the, yeah, look for the, look for the reason why we're moving. You, you know, it's exactly. Mine. Because... Because to me, where the head goes, the body follows, right? You know, I've heard that saying all my life, where the head goes, the body follows. So if, if her head is thinking to follow me around and to do what, what, what my body's telling her to do, then the body's naturally gonna follow. And if the horse has any talent at all, the feet are gonna be in the right spot because she's gonna balance herself the way she needs to be done. So to me, a horse, 